In the last lecture, we had a look at peer-to-peer -peer network architecture, and we also discussed the disadvantages of peer-to-peer -peer architecture, which we will be overcoming in client-to-server architecture. Now, let us have a look at client-to-server architecture. Client-server networks are pretty much the polar opposite of peer-to-peer -peer networks because in them, a single server uses network operating system for managing the whole network. So here how it works. A client machine's request for a resource goes to the main server which responds by handling security and directing the client to the desired resource. Now this happens instead of the request going directly to the machine with the desired resource and it has some serious advantages. Now here the server acts as a central governing authority and that is why there is ease of accessing the files. First, because the network is much better organized and doesn't depend on users remembering where needed resources are, it's a whole lot easier to find the files you need because everything is stored in one spot on that special server. And that is why if the server is fully protected, it provides a huge amount of security to the network. Your security also gets a lot tighter because all usernames and passwords are on that specific server which is never ever used as a workstation. You even gain scalability. Client server networks can have a lot of workstations on them and surprisingly with all those demands the network's performance is actually optimized and therefore less memory is needed to store the passwords. So instead of saving the 50 usernames and passwords in all the 50 machines, we can store that only on the servers and that is why most of the IT professionals are more concerned about their servers rather than their hosts because in today's services model and business applications rely completely on client server architecture to give the ease of information access to their customers. I hope you have understand the difference between the peer-to-peer -peer network architecture and client network architecture. I would like to end this lecture by giving you a simple analogy. For example, if you consider you have a group of four friends and if you want to have access or if you want to see the assignment of your peer group, you can just ask him and he will give you his assignment. There is no one who can say no or there is no one to keep a watch on you. But if you have a group of four friends and teacher is there in the classroom, you can just, you just have to take the permission of the class teacher in order to do anything. Now this is the major difference between peer-to-peer -peer networks and client server network where a central governing authority is there to, which keeps all the security measures on track. So if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask us through the question and answer portal. We will reply you as fast as you can. And again, do not forget to please write a rating or a review for our course. It really means a lot that you are enjoying this course. I will see you in the next lecture.